All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Simplistic. Welcome back to another video. So a few weeks ago, I fully bought a brand new car with zero miles on it in cash, which I'm very grateful for, but I didn't stop there. I was recently referred to a place called RC1 Rap, which pretty much is Los Santos Customs from GTA in real life. They've worked with many other influencers and creators such as skateboarder Nigel Houston, TikToker Santi, that's my boy, and many more. Their work done on Teslas in general look phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I met up with them to drop my car. Well, off. today officially marks two weeks, and the owner himself actually gave me this envelope with the number one on it. And he basically said I have to go on a little scavenger hunt to locate my vehicle. Hey, I respect it because anyone else would have been like, hey, yo, come pick it up at the warehouse. But this is different. You know what? Let's quit yapping. Let's open up number one. Very sorry if I ruined the packaging. Go hang with the homie Ronald. He is a clown. Maybe you can find him at blank. Damn, that's wild. It's like they were reading my mind. I was craving a little Happy Meal. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, if they wanna play the rhyming game, we can go bar for bar. And on the back, it says, order the number you are looking for with the location of the restaurant below. He mentioned that there are five laid out across the whole entire city. I must locate and complete each task to be able to finally reveal my dream automobile. AKA, my baby on wheels. Hey, to be honest, you can really never beat Mickey D's. It's a childhood classic. Put some respect on their name. Well, I mean, they're kind of like the biggest fast food chain in the world, so I think they think they have that already. I really gotta channel my inner private investigator. Let's go find number two. Can I get a uh, number two? Uh, the combo meal, just a quarter pounder, number two. Thank you. I think what they meant is that I'm actually the clown, so a little diss, but it's okay. I'm not gonna cry over it. <laughs> we secured the bag, but as expected. Yes, sir, come on. I got sweet and sour sauce in my veins, baby. Hey, while we're here, we might as well enjoy some fries and a burger. Perfect salted but very unhealthy sadly no sauce was provided but we're gonna pair that with a double quarter pounder with cheese low-key a mini heart attack but it is hitting all right talk to me what do we got when you were little you made forts now all you do is watch nba go to the nearest blank it has to be a basketball court i just pulled up to the closest one to me hopefully i'm in luck hey i see some dude on a bench holding something hold up hey you got what i'm looking for you got oh yes sir thank you bro hey uh you trying to catch a little 1v1 though yeah i got you oh, oh all right come on i'll do it with the camera in my hand too we'll get to this after one hand oh that's an air ball take it easy on me bro oh 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 Oh, let me get that, let me get that. Oh, sky hook. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, give me that. Oh, come on. Ah. Damn. You gonna end me? Oh, come on. All right, four one game point. Nah, okay. The comeback starts here. One handed though. Never mind. Ah, good game, Brody. Bro was crossing me. I had the easy slides. I'm not gonna lie. I'm winded. I had been working out a lot, so that explains why I didn't have enough strength. And on top of that, I lost by four. I'm not gonna make any excuses, but I was in some easy slides. I just wasn't in my best form. A little step back three pointer on the way. Now that the game is understood, go to the river in the woods. That reminded me a lot of Little Red Riding Hood for some reason. There is a forest nearby. It's very close to us. That's light work. Why does it seem like a vampire is about to pop out out of nowhere? Kind of like Twilight or something. This is kind of scary, a little spooky. That's actually one of my friend's uncle's name. 25,000 likes, I'll come back and jump in. I'm really not trying to get too close because I'll probably slip and fall. It took a while, but I'm just glad I didn't give up. Hey, the reason I'm so good at this game is because I have 20-20 vision and on top of that, I used to read Where's Waldo? All my OGs remember that. What a day keeps the doctor away. Not an actual fruit. Tint, an electronic store. I recently just got the 14. I do not need the 15. To be honest, I really did not want to come to the mall. I haven't really been in a shopping mood lately. I'm just trying to save my money and spend it on what really matters, like V-Bucks or something. The employees here really do not like when I film, but we're gonna have to get the job done. Hey, quick in and out. I went in there. I did what I had to do. I had to turn on stealth mode really fast. We're at the end of our mission. We retrieved number five. You are so close. What do you use to make toast? Wait, what? You use a toaster. 
but do they want me to go to a store for that? I have one at my house. There's no way they could have gotten into my apartment. That just doesn't make any sense. Wait, unless my girlfriend is also in on it and she let them in. Nah, yeah, I'm definitely on to something. I am so tired of taking Ubers. I am back at my house. I trusted my gut and I was correct. I'm incredibly anxious, but... Have you even checked your parking spot? L-M-A-O. I don't know who to trust, what to believe. If it really is downstairs, my mind will be blown. Oh my God, there is absolutely no way. How did they get this here? This was not here earlier. This is fire. It is so clean. I can't believe that this is mine. Sheesh. The attention to detail is phenomenal. The name of the color itself is a battleship matte gray, and the attention to detail is phenomenal. Along with applying the wrap, they also added two different spoilers, one on the front and on the back. Let's check out the inside though. Ooh, I am already seeing a little logo light at our feet. That is so sick. A white carbon fiber steering wheel with a blacked out emblem. Oh my lord, that is so clean. It's minimal and incredibly nice. Along with weatherproof floor mats, a glowing RGB charging station. Since the interior and leather were all white before, they got me covered by finishing it off with the back of the seats, the middle console, and as well as some neck pillows. Of course, a mini trash can in the back for any guests. And finally, when it gets dark out, this will come in handy. It's a trunk LED light. Completely blacked out the dashboard and doors. Two sets of organizers for any loose items that I may have, a compartment for under the screen, and underneath some snacks for when I'm on the road. Overall, I cannot give anything below five stars. Welcome to the new simplistic whip. And please, if you find me on the freeway and recognize me, do not honk. I would always get caught off guard and one time I almost crap. Let's stop being dangerous and let's start being safer. You know me, I am always giving back to people. I feel like that's what life is all about, spreading love and positivity. But right now we are going to switch things up because I'm going to be allowing my exotic Bengal cat, his name is Aiko, this precious little guy right here, to go inside this pet store behind me and whatever he touches, I am going to buy. It's getting really cold outside, so we have to go. He's literally shivering. And honestly, he hasn't really been outside in public or interacted with other people. So we definitely need to be a little careful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's run it. You know, I've done this challenge with humans before, so I'm kind of excited to see how this will go with an animal. First things first, let's go locate the little kitten section. And I'm low-key kind of nervous and scared right now because if he ends up touching a lot of stuff, my bank account is not going to be happy. Be prepared because when I let him go, he might take off. What will be the first item that he touches? Let's try and ease into it a little bit more. We have three options for you. What are you feeling? There it is. Squeezable puree, which is kind of like yogurt. Soft filled bites, which is filled with. Oh, oh, that's another one. Bursts. Did he just touch that? We have <sighs> some elastic liners for litter box. Actually will come in handy. Bro pees up a storm. You saw that? His tail. A bed. Oh, he touched this one too. That sounds good. Another one. Thrill and chase four count balls. Oh, <laughs> he likes them. Oh, he is. Bro, what is this? Oh, hard food called Bountiful Catch with salmon and whole herrings. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Add it to the cart. Ooh, it's a full paw right there. Buddy wants a new harness. Looks like it's a two pack. Um, I mean, he does have a brother at home, so it'll work perfect. He made his way up here. Oh, is he sniffing it? Did he touch it? His whisker definitely grazed it. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is gonna be heavy. A lookout loft tree. Bro, it's half the size of me. Let me set some within his reach so it's a little bit easier. Fish, pizza, chips, the glizzy, paws, ice cream, sushi. How you doing? I love the dog. Him or her? Uh, her. Her. Hi. What's her name? Hartley. Hartley. You know, cat is it's that? like a, it's like a like mini tiger. Low key, I think the dog might have frightened him. So to make up for it, we're gonna grab all of these. Okay, you earned you it. You stepped out of your comfort zone today. You did your thing. I'm proud of you. I'm a happy dad. Shout out to Nell. Master catnip. Okay. A drink well pet fountain. They got a whole ounce of yaoiwana. Yeah, no, we definitely have to lay off that for now. He's too young. Hey mister, you're not a cheap date. It came out to over $300, but you know what? Worth it. For this beautiful face, 
Hey, I think it's safe to say the boys love their new toys. Recently, I found a sketchy website that basically allows you to put two people on a phone call together without them knowing. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea how this even works, the technology, it's borderline hacking, and it might as well be illegal. I don't know how this hasn't gotten taken down yet. Hey, if there's anyone that's gonna put this to good use, it's gonna be me. I am 100% a class clown, I'm a troll at heart. This software being in my hands is dangerous. This is about to be hilarious because not only do I have some good matchups in mind, luckily for me, my contact list is filled with some pretty sick people. I'm talking my mom, my dad, some cousins, some siblings. Uh, also, to anyone that I do this to that is currently watching, I mean no harm. Do not come for me. I do not mean to leak any personal information. I come in peace. Just to make this even better, I went through thick and thin to get as many connects as possible just to be able to get a wide variety of different contacts. The only way this doesn't work is the random pair that I put together happens to not have each other's numbers or they just both don't answer. We're gonna go ahead and start off in the streaming world with two young goats. They're both killing the game right now. Aiden Ross and Kai Sinat. This is kind of nerve wracking. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like I'm doing something sneaky. Well, I kind of am. It's low key wrong, but here we go. <laughs> Damn, we failed off to a bad start. It looks like they were busy. I'm gonna stay positive. We're just getting warmed up. Let's do Ben Azalar and Jeremy Hutchins. I have no doubt they're a part of the same YouTube group. Should be a piece of cake. Come on, please. Yo. What's up, Tag? What up? Uh, just filming, but we're grabbing some quick food real quick. What's good? Did you call? I didn't call you, did I? Oh, huh? oh what yeah. do you need? Looks like Jeremy's in the middle of filming a video. Oh, wait, did you call me? <laughs> No. They're both trying to confront who called who. When did you get a call from me? Oh, just now. <laughs> no, it's, bro, this happened to me yesterday. When did Someone just call me. You know how you can, like, have a prank call thing where you can make two people call each other? They know about it! So I did do a test run, and one of the people was Ben Azalar, and he said, Oh my god, this was happening to me yesterday. Oh, he knows exactly what's going on. Someone's doing that with Wait, people's numbers. Oh, are you serious? What makes this even better is when I was trying out the app, I paired Ben with Arak. And as y'all heard, he hit him up personally asking, yo, did you like accidentally butt dial me or something? But it's just so happened that Arak actually pulled this same exact prank before a long time ago. Definitely wasn't a smart move. Man, we're getting sniffed out early. I wouldn't be surprised if the CIA, the FBI, or just the cops showed up at my door right now. Let's think more outside the box and random. Lexi Hensler and Nick DiGiovanni. Lifestyle and cooking. Should be a great combo. Hello. I'm cooking. Oh. Hello. No. Nick didn't answer. Instead, we were left with Lexi just repeating the word hello. I'm grateful for just that. Let's try out some gamers. More specifically, Call of Duty. Adapt and swag. What's up, Chris? Oh, it felt good. They're yapping about Warzone and the loadouts that they use in the game. Oh, it's, it's 30 or is it 5? It's 5. You can do 5, but like if, you, if, like if you're a player, you just gotta get the 30 one. Oh, I'm gonna have to tap in that. Which one? You get me? Oh. I'm chilling, yeah. I just thought I got back to the gym. Healthy. Bro, you want a late night shift? <laughs> And that's where it ends. I'm happy. Overall, solid. We're taking it all the way back to 2016 slash 17. Summer A and Banks, who were both a part of Clout Gang with Alyssa Violet, Rice Gum. If you know, you know. Hello. Hello. Ricky? Hello. Interesting. Something definitely bugged out because they couldn't even hear each other. Unfortunate. What is a great American sport other than baseball? If you were thinking football, we're on the same page. We have dockery and destroying. One sec. Yo, what's good? What's good, buddy? What's good, man? Good, man. How you living? 
Just grinding, bro. You already know how it is. I already know. <laughs> Where were you? Yeah, still in Seattle? Where are you I'm in Cali right now. I bet. Bet, bet, bet. I'm good, bro. I'm in Hawaii. Just chilling, man. Hey. Hey, hey. My boy's vacationing. Working off some Man, you feel me? It's the same old. I know it. Yeah, I've seen you snagging well. Trying to, bro. Yeah. Uh, everything straight, though? Yeah, everything's straight, bro. Just getting the bag. Yeah, I already know. I'm trying to get that McLaren like you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Rambling about some cars. Bro, what's yeah, uh, You caught? Yeah. Yeah, what? I thought that I was trying to prank me or something. <laughs> Who, me? You said me? Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Something I spend way too much time on is TikTok scrolling. And two of my favorites, a part of the Hispanic community, Walito and Santi. Hello? You're on speaker. You're on speaker. Huh? You need me to go into a room, you're on speaker. Oh, I'm Hello? on speaker? Yeah, I can take you off right now, though. Give me a sec. What happened? Chilling, I'm playing FIFA right now. I'm filming a YouTube video. Okay, what, have, what do you need, dog? Boy, what? You called me? I called you? Yeah. <laughs> Yo! What the f is my phone doing that again, bro? I'm so sorry, bro. It did that again. It did that last time that like last time it did that shit. It just called random random numbers, bro. You good, bro? I'm not I'm, doing nothing too crazy. How are you? How's the wait? You're, you're doing the 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 thing outside, right? Twenty twenty four hours. Yeah, I'm doing. The <laughs> wins. Why don't you give me up for shit that? What the f Going back and forth. My boy Waka really said, is my phone doing that again? Like it's happened before. Wild. Gideon, rice gum. Nah. The OGs of YouTube. Logan Paul, WWE superstar. Casey Neistat, the man who practically created vlogging. Combination. Dang it. That would have been iconic. We're gonna attempt some Florida boys. World renowned music producer DJ Scheme has worked with Juice World and XXX Tentacion in the past. RIP to both of them. On the flip side, Scheme asked the slump guy. Denied. Somehow, someway, Mr. Beast and PewDiePie. Huge numbers. Negative. We got my boy, Faze Rug, and the basketball hooper himself, T Jack. Yo. Yo, yo, what's good, bro? Good, my boy. Hey, how you been? You know, good, chilling, grinding, traveling, same sh How you been? I see it, bro. Chilling, chilling, dude. Yeah, bro, what's good? Not much, good, just uh, filming right now. Just filming, um, you know, vibing with the homies. I'm in uh, my home office right now, just working on some videos. Oh, okay, sick. Were you, um... Are you, at, are you a part of Gil's shootout? Nah, what's that? I think tomorrow, Gilbert Arenas is hosting something in LA. Like, Jesser is a part of it. Uh, Jenna Brandy. They're doing, like, a shootout or something. Oh, no, nah, I'm in Wisconsin right now, bro. I ain't even out there. <laughs> That's where it ended. I am happy and satisfied with the results. If y'all want me to run this back next with A-list celebrities, I'm talking rappers, actors, pretty much anyone I can get my hands on. Drop a like and subscribe down below, and we'll make it happen. Hey, since we were just talking to him, my fans and supporters know I love to prank my best friend, FaZe Rub. And there has been a brand new term floating around the internet called gaslighting. It's kind of hard to explain but it's basically when you make someone feel a type of way or as if they're doing something wrong i don't know how or why this became popular it's borderline manipulation we have someone's house to go to dog i already feel so evil for even doing this but we just arrived at the victim's house and i'm gonna try my very hardest to not break character hey yo what's goody nothing much chilling bro had to pull up on my boy Yes, sir. Come on. See your vlogging? Of course, bro. 2024 grind. You know what it's it good. is? What's good? It's your boy, Brian, aka Faze Rug on YouTube. If you didn't know. Yes, sir. The dynamic duo, though? You can never. Come on. Y'all can never. Come on. Stop playing. Hey, did you bring shorts for the hot tub? Come, Come on, on, bro. That recovery, like, we've been in the gym a little bit. You know hey, we're mean? trying to get buff this year. We're really, like, having our minds set. We're, we're not really stopping for nobody. We gotta and work in silence. Of course. Like lasagna. Like Lil Wayne says. We're trying to get our physique to be the absolute best. Ripped plastic coming soon. Bro, and also like, I'm trying to like work more in silence. Like instead of is like- Is everything okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. 
No, I'm just saying because you slammed the door a little hard. I don't know, like, if, <laughs> that was an accident. Did something happen? You no, know, personally, like, you and the fam got into it. Like, is anybody, are, you are you okay? Bro, I accidentally just hit it, like, slammed no, the door. No, no, like, I'm just, no, I'm making sure. Cause, this like, is heavy duty, bro. No, of course, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. did, like, your video do bad? It did pretty good, actually. Oh, wait, it is. I can tell. What? That little smirk of yours. <laughs> oh, no. My he video he said, oh, like, no, it's okay. You can talk to me, bro. You can always talk to me. I'm here for you. My video didn't do bad. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I'm chilling. Your vibe is a little off, bro. Like, uh, I'm just what? thinking, no, no, seriously. What are you saying? No, brother to brother. I don't want you to feel like any type of way, bro. I, I got you. Bro, you came you came over so we can hit the hot tub, chill, hang out. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was just joking. I'm a, oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I was just playing. Okay, okay. I was yeah. gonna say. No, come on, bro. You're no. Weird. <laughs> for real, though, I didn't want to talk to you about something. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of the stuff you've been doing lately, like you haven't been asking me to come. I, I know you best. Yeah. Like I look into your eyes and you're just kind of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're just not in a situation. In a situation? You're just not like, you know, involved in what's going on at the moment. Like you're kind of like spacing out, not really like caring. I just want to make sure you're good. <laughs> you know what are you saying? I'm locked in. I'm just making sure. No, I, yeah. I'm just looking I, I want to make sure you're good too. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah. Want to go to a Lakers game? But now, okay, now you're missing your voice though. <laughs> okay, bro. I don't even. Bro, know. you tell me to lower my voice. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna want to. No, I swear. I'm gonna raise my voice. No, no, seriously. I'm not gonna want to stay in your presence if you're gonna like actually talk to me that way. It's a joke. Man. No, it's not a joke. It's a joke. Because you cross that line every time. You start doing this and that. You start. Oh, I can do. Oh, no, no. You're like. You're literally getting mad, bro. Relax. <laughs> I'm bro, bro I'm, I have a smile on. <laughs> okay, look see, at your face. Wait, that's crazy. Look that's no, nah, that's that's wild, bro. Are you actually being serious? Am I being? Se yes, I'm being serious. <laughs> I can tell. Bro, every time okay? we, no, every time a serious situation arises, you laugh at it like it's okay, a joke. Okay, 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 okay. Like what? What is serious? That just bro, happened? that is crazy. Wait, what? What happened? That's so serious. No, sometimes I'm like, bro, like, I, like seriously, like sometimes I'm like, damn, bro, like just be a good friend, be a W friend. And it's just like you'll, 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 you'll start be like, oh, this and that. You'll start laughing and stuff. I'm, I'm being serious, bro. I'm like. I'm trying to talk to you. I feel like you haven't really been acting the same way. So yeah, that was on the agenda. You're raising your voice again. All right, bro, all right. You're <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. What are you kidding, doing? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I had to look up what gaslighting meant like 30 times to try and understand. I barely know if I did that correctly. Though. Like, hey, I love you too, bro. <laughs> so are we actually gonna hit the hot tub? Bro? No. Hi, right, gang, that was cool. It was cool, but you're actually leaving right now? Yeah. You barely got here. No, I literally said I wasn't going to leave. I am. I'm gonna go outside to my car. You wanna come look at it? It's brand new. Oh, I didn't see your car. Yeah. You, yeah. Wanna, you wanna go? I'd love to. Bro, you're acting so off. Weird, bro. Weird energy. You couldn't get me on a sunny day or something where I could see it better? No, it's better in this lighting. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I want it to be like pitch black when you see it. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't daytime. Why? This is not good. Not it? No, I think this is ugly. Okay. Wait. You want to get it rewrapped? I probably might have to, bro. Yeah. Thanks for the honest opinion, no, though. No, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. It definitely doesn't look good. Just like brainstorm better next time, you know? Get good rest tonight, though. No, yeah, yeah. Obviously. No, like sleep well, bro. Yeah, Like, but... for real, I appreciate you a lot for oh, pulling yeah. up. Thank you, bro. But, yeah, you got to fix this for sure. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'll wait for you inside. Yeah, I told you I was going to leave. Dude, what's You're wrong? acting like, bro, Something's like, wrong communicate bro. better, bro. Nah, bro, nah. Babe, I have an idea. So I see you're getting ready. Okay. I just think we should change up your style just a little bit. Like I have something that could just make your skin pop. Like what? Okay. So you see these. Your tattoos? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just got a package in and this is not a brand deal by the way. I just want to try it out on you, my test dummy. You're like a little guinea pig. Okay. <laughs> They're basically temporary tattoos that last like one to two weeks. And since you don't literally have a single one on your body, I think we try it out. Hey, honestly, I'm down because I'm actually scared to get a real tattoo. I thought you love needles. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll literally faint. So what we have to do, this is your tattoo of choice. She will be getting a tiny moon. You're always just down, bro. <laughs> I love you. First, we must clean you off with the primer wipe. Now, we must apply the tattoo by placing it on the back of your head. Hey, it looks beautiful. <laughs> this is hard to do with holding a camera. It's burning? I'm just <laughs> Dude, you scared me. <laughs> it's worse than a tattoo. <laughs> Imagine it hurts worse. Your hands are cold. And then I have to peel off this side. It actually like, pokes. I have to peel off this side. Since I'm impatient, I'm gonna take it off early. No, it's gonna be on for two weeks. Okay, let me just see it. Come on. If it comes off and it's looking like half on, half off, I'm gonna be mad because it's on for two weeks. That's fine. Hey. What? Did it come off? Yeah. It's one of those things where you kind of have to just wait a very long time and hope for the best. Appreciate you.